1997, you competed in Joe Moriara International yes. Open, yes. the jiu-jitsu tournament. Yes. You were in the blue belt, 62 kilo <laughs> yep. weight division. Yes. Do you, do you remember what took place in course, the final? Of course. Of course I do. Of course I do. Uh, I beat four opponents with a choke. It, this was Armenian choke. It was a, uh, we created that uh, we named it Armenian choke. I finished four opponents. And then my fifth opponent was uh, Hickson Gracie's son. The one who passed away in a motorcycle. Yes. It was him in the semis. It was me and him and BJ Penn and forgot someone else in the se other semis, other bracket. And I'm same position. I'm choking this guy out. He's biting my leg. He's biting my thigh. And I, and then whatever it is, and I try to sweep him and I couldn't sweep him. I went on my back again. They gave him one point. It, it was ridiculous. I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. There's no, there's no such a thing, a point like that. I went for a switch and I can't switch. I come, I, I came back to my back. They gave him one point. For no reason. There's no reason. They want me to lose, obviously, because it's a Joe Murray tournament. They don't want me to be in the finals. It's it's known, obviously. He's 16 Gracie's son. I know I'm nobody. Whatever it is. And then I hold him the same same choke again. I'm choking him. He's biting me again. And I got mad and I kicked, I kicked his head and I just get off me. And then approximately like 15, 20 Brazilians on top of me. They try to jump me and I just cover my head like this. And I got kicked a couple of times. And then uh, Higa Machado saved me. And he stopped everything. And then Jean LaBelle, when he walked in, and we went to the locker room, they're like, he's not biting. I'm like, I can show you. Like He goes, put your pants down while I'm standing there. I said, let's go to the locker room. I'll put my pants down. I'm not going to put my pants down in front of all this woman, man, and people. Let's go to the locker room. I'll put my pants down. So you can, you can see it. They're like, no. And then they just give him the, they give him the win. And they went to the locker room. I'm crying. I went to the locker room. Gene LaBelle, I heard first time in my life, I heard Sensei Gene cuss. He said, put your freaking pants down right now. I pulled him down. His uh, teeth mark everywhere. And then whatever it is, I mean, they wanted to disqualify the guy, but they never did. And then I was supposed to fight BJ Penn for the finals. You know, it never went down. And then they they gave me a medal, first place medal. I said, I don't need, I don't need this shit. I threw him away. And I walked away. I said, I'm never competing Brazilian jiu-jitsu ever in my whole entire life. I throw the gear away. And since they, until today, I never wear the gear to compete jiu-jitsu. And I never will. I lost respect and uh, uh, the loyalty wasn't there. I'm like, I'm out of here. To hear the entire interview, please subscribe to the Lights Out MMA History Podcast, available on all major podcast platforms.